Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Pagey here, once again, with another video on Legends of Tomorrow. So this is going to be my review for episode 14, otherwise entitled, River of Time. So there will be spoilers in this, as per usual, but let's get into it. So the flashback to ancient Egypt was pretty interesting, but how does Rip's hair always stay like that? Like, I'd, I'd really like to know that. We learn that the Leviathan, or the big robot from the last episode, used technology 100 years more advanced than what was available. So Vandal is really going against Time Master Law. Vandal was able to get this technology as he learned about time travel initially from when the legends came to 1975. So it looks like that Vandal is actually a master of time himself. The vision we got with Jax was interesting to see following his exposure to the radiation, but what did it mean or indicate? Heatwave seems to be a sugar junkie as well. He seems to hate those sugar-free snacks, but who really likes sugar-free snacks? Like, not that many people. Learning that Rip sent Jax essentially on a suicide mission shows that he is a bit of a bastard, but also shows he would do anything in an attempt to save his family. We learn that the visions are the events of the legends before they departed on this journey. Now, Felicity was in this episode and was actually good in this episode of Legend of Tomorrow, better than she's been this whole season of Arrow. Ray and Felicity actually had good chemistry on the show, so I guess it was good to see that Felicity again. You had to feel bad for Ray though, because straight after that, he catches Kendra doing whatever she was doing with Carter and, you know, Ray's a bit pissed. Savage's plan to tear the legends apart from within is working very well and, well, amazingly to be completely honest. Old Man Jax looked old as fuck, And yay, we got to see Nyssa again. It was awesome to see her again as well as Sarah's interaction with her again. Hopefully we get to see more of that when Legends of Tomorrow is over and Sarah possibly returns to the current timeline. Professor Stein's plan to send Jax back to 2016 to reverse the effects of the radiation was brave, seeing the effects it had on the others. Even though Ray got taken out, it was good to see him kick some ass without his suit, you know, his Adam suit on against Savage. But it sort of did lead to a lot of shit hitting the fans, so maybe Ray shouldn't have done that. There is a mention of a Jurgens Ridge when they are mapping out their, you know, time stream course. Now, Dan Jurgens is the creator of Booster Gold, who, obviously, is Rip Hunter's father, so there's just a fun fact for you. The corridor fight with Savage and Carter was pretty cool, and the way in which Carter came back to, well, I guess you could say normal, in order to save Kendra was pretty awesome. I guess you could say better late than never, but I guess you could say that, oh, Kendra was in danger of dying, so that's why Carter came back to normal, but, you know. The big twist of the episode, even though I don't think it was that big of a twist because it's been hinting at it for a while, was when we learned that the Time Masters are actually in, or League, or, you know, like, in teaming up with Vandal Savage, which, if you go back and look at all the episodes, you think, okay, well, why are they going after Rip Hunter? They could say because he went against all these different Time Laws, but also it's probably because he's going to take out Vandal Savage, who they're in cahoots with. So all the legends are locked up, but how the hell are the legends going to get out of the Time Master's prison? One important thing to remember, if they haven't captured Jack yet because he got released on the little separate ship that they have, did he actually make it back to 2016? Because if he didn't, maybe there might be some sort of communication with him and he might be able to save them as well. But let me know how you think they're going to escape from the prison in the comment section below. So thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like, as I said before leave in the comments how they're going to break out the prison or just leave what was your favourite moment from the episode in the comments. If you are new around here make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you later guys and goodbye.